Hello my fellow explorers, Zay here, and today I'd like to read Margaret Wise Brown's The Whispering Rabbit. Illustrated by Annie Wan. Once there was a sleepy little rabbit who began to yawn. I yawn, I yawn, I yawn, and I yawn. He opened his little rabbit mouth when he yawned till you could see his white front teeth and his little round pink mouth. And he yawned and he yawned until suddenly a bee flew into his mouth and he swallowed the bee. Hoo, hoo, said a fat old owl. Always keep your paw in front of your mouth when you yawn, hooted the owl. Rabbits never do that, said the sleepy little rabbit. Silly rabbits, said the owl, and he flew away. The little rabbit was just calling after him, but when the little rabbit opened his mouth to speak, the bumblebee had curled up to sleep in his throat, and all he could do was whisper. What shall I do? He whispered to the squirrel, who wasn't sleepy. Wake him up, said the squirrel. Wake up the bumblebee. How? whispered the rabbit. All I can do is whisper, and I'm sleepy, and I want to go to sleep. And who can sleep with the bumblebee? Suddenly, a wise old groundhog popped up out of the ground. All I can do is whisper, said the little rabbit. All the better, said the groundhog. Come here, little rabbit, he said, and I will whisper to you how to wake up a bumblebee. You have to make the littlest noise that you can possibly make because a bumblebee doesn't bother about big noises. He is very little bee, and he is only interested in little noises. Like a loud whisper? asked the rabbit. Too loud, said the groundhog, and he popped back into his hole. A little noise, whispered the rabbit, and he started making little rabbit noises. He made a noise as quiet as the sound of a bird's wing cutting the air, but the bee didn't wake up. So the little rabbit made the sound of snow falling, but the bee didn't wake up. So the little rabbit made the sound of a bug breathing and a fly sneezing and grass rustling and a firefighter thinking. Still the bee didn't wake up. So the rabbit sat and thought of all the little sounds he could think of. What could they be? A sound quiet as snow melting, quiet as a flower growing, quiet as an egg, quiet as, and suddenly he knew the little noise that he would make and he made it. It was like a little click made hundreds of miles away by a bumblebee in an apple tree in full bloom on a mountaintop. It was the very small click of a bee swallowing some honey from an apple blossom. And at that, the bee woke up he thought he was missing something, and away he flew. And then what did the little rabbit do? That sleepy, sleepy little rabbit? He closed his mouth. He closed his eyes. He closed his ears. And he tucked in his paws and twitched his nose. And he went sound asleep. The end. Thank you all for joining me. See you next time.